Well today, much to the surprise of my subscribers, I was going to be working on producing two videos and continuing a collaboration that I'm doing right now. But I put those things on hold because child abuse fucking pisses me off. Now, I'm not accusing you of anything here. I've seen the videos in question and you've made some claims about those produced videos. Very well. On the off chance that I'm wrong, then there's an easy solution for you. On the chance that I'm correct, then you're probably getting no more hate, as you call it, than you deserve. Now I know that I'm not the only person in the world who has been abused or who finds abuse of children absolutely abhorrent. You might have wanted to have considered that before embarking on your YouTube career. Prior to me pointing out the solution which you yourself have pointed the finger directly at, there's a bit of advice. Had you never thought, ever, to put a disclaimer on your videos? You don't have to say it in the video. You have to say it before you do the prank, as you call it. But a simple little disclaimer anywhere at the end of your video or perhaps in the description of your video that would say something to the effect of we do not support child abuse this was a planned prank anything like that ever occur to you just curious now I will point out the solution to your problem that you yourself have spoken of. I don't care anymore. The videos are fake. They're fake. They're over exaggerated. Some videos are scripted. Some video I mean they're just played out. Okay. So your claim is that they are scripted. Simple solution really. Show us the scripts. I, I, I never really came out and said we were fake because I was scared to kill our YouTube channel. That kind of thing kills a YouTube channel. Perhaps you should have considered it for a little bit longer. How much more so child abuse allegations? If you feel someone really, if someone really is a child abuser, I mean, I get what, I get what their point is. I get what their point is. They are on this bandwagon right now. And if someone is a child abuser, you want that person shut down. I get it. You get it. And yet, as I will be pointing out, you accuse everyone else of not getting it when you put no disclaimer on your videos. Nowhere do you say, this is all fake, there is no child abuse going on, don't worry, this isn't happening. You get it. And when you get the backlash, you don't get it. Right now we are under severe attack by all kinds of media, by this the Franco guy, and everyone is jumping on this hate wagon, everyone is jumping on this, this witch hunt, everyone is following the media. It would have never got this out of hand if it wasn't for that DeFranco guy starting all of this, doing all of this to my family. He's responsible for this. You don't get to blame everyone else for what's going on. This is not everyone else's fault. You chose to present these videos yourself. Whether it was a family effort, a parental effort, or your personal effort, it makes no difference. You presented these videos as is. Were they prank videos? Were they scripted? Were they planned with the children? No one can know but you. The only possible thing you can do is show us the scripts. 
This isn't DeFranco's fault. This isn't the rest of the YouTube community's fault. This isn't the media's fault. This is your fault for not presenting a disclaimer stating distinctly that this was a prank, a planned prank, a planned prank that the children took part in. Are we not clear on this? Can you not get this through your head? Great, you're sorry for all this stuff. It was your fault. Ground control to Major Tom. Ground control to Major Tom.